Okay, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a pot stand fire, all incorporated using just wood from the woods. No, no stands, no metals, nothing. I've got a pot, obviously, to put on it. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Straight piece of green wood branch so I can build the stand. So I found this tree. As you can see, it's nice and straight. There's some good pieces on it. To be honest, this one here or this one, I think I'll take this one, a little bit thicker. So this is what's going to give us our pot stand and then we'll create the fire. So I'm going to cut this now. The only thing I've got is a tool really with me is my Swiss champ. We're going to cut it. This is basic boiling water making a drink, building your fire out in the woods. Right, we've got our branch cut. I don't need the whole branch, so I'm going to cut it again. I'm going to cut it again up the top there. Right, it's important this is green wood, because we don't want this to burn. This is going to be our pot stand. So let's go and find some tinder. You don't have to look far in the woods. I'm just seeing a load over there. This is what I'm looking at, look. So it's off the ground. I don't know how dead it is until I play around with it. I've got to feel it and see the leaves are burned. I mean, that's pretty, it's pretty dead. It's, it's not easy to get these going with that little bit of bark on. They don't burn very well, but this is um, it's pretty dead. So I feel like this would be good, good for tinder anyway. So let's start prepping. Right, what the plan is, we're gonna cut this into four. So we need to find the middle, roughly, which is probably about there. Recut this up now into four pieces. I'm doing it by eye because it's not that important. So we're just going to cut this into four. Right, so we've had four sticks out of our one stick. Now we're going to put some points on each end. We need to drive these into the ground. So we're going to get these points put onto the ends. Just so we can drive them into the ground. Just helps it, doesn't it? Put a spike on there. Right, so now we have four, four pointy sticks. Right, so now we want to drive these into the ground. We have a lot of flint around this area. So this is always a pain to do. Nice and close, we're only a few inches apart. if I can even get it in the ground. So we've got four in, that's our pot stand. Let's have a look around that. So we've got our four sticks poked in the ground. They're about a foot high. 12 inches, 30 centimeters, and that's our pot stand. So our pot will sit on that. Now let's get the fire built in there. So for the firewood, we're just gonna snap small stuff off of this area here. That's why I came here. I always try and build a fire near my fire source. I don't wanna be walking around looking for stuff to burn. When I can just stand next to it and have the fire. It's not like you have to have the fire somewhere special, is it? So we're going to fill that area up with loads of little pieces. So I'll put you down there, you can watch it get built. We're going to mix it up by putting stuff in one way and stuff in the other way.
All right, so we have this built up now. As you can see, you've got the four poles, sticks, and then you've got your little fire built up inside it. I'm not going to start this from the bottom, I'm going to start it from around the middle so it burns down and up. I've got a little fire lighter with me, some of my wood wool. In this condition, this will be very difficult to start in this wet damp stuff. Let's check the pot fits on there. So there's my pot. There's my pot definitely fitting on top. So in theory now, we get the fire going, we should be able to pour some water. The pot I've got here is a Zebra 14 centimetre lunchbox. So traditional camping pot. This is the wood wall fire lighter. I'm going to open it up a bit. Just twist it out to open it up a bit. It's going to go quite viciously. This isn't burn this quick. So what I'm going to do, let's put it in place. I'm going to start getting some more wood ready because this ain't ready. I know it's going to go really quick. I'm not going to waste any heat. So this is going straight on as well. There's no, no heat going to be wasted from this, so the whole lot's ready to go. But what I want to do is get more wood prepped, because I'll be working my butt off trying to get this fed. First time of doing this for me, so I haven't practiced it. So let's see how it goes. Right, let's fire it up. Right, the green wood will burn eventually, but it'll take a long time, so the theory here is it ain't going to start yet. So far, so good, but it will burn through quick, I know that. So what I want to do is keep feeding. So I'm going to leave you in the position you can see. I'm just poking through both sides so we're going in how we built it. Looking good so far. Let's get some of the bigger sticks on now. Move you around the other side, you've got a lot of flame around there. Bit of an inferno, eh? Are we 
really liking it. Let's see how that water's going. Let's get some more fish. Get some more fuel in there. This is damp still, this wood. All these twigs and that. I'm trying to get the highest parts that are free from the others and, and sitting high. Because then you've got a good idea that that's the driest on what's dried out overnight in this morning. But there's no point in making fires in the middle of the summer and showing people how to do it because everyone can make a fire in this summer. I do winter fires when you really need them. Going well, isn't it? The green wood isn't really burning as it shouldn't be. I really don't know what this is called, this type of um, this type of fire. So if anyone knows, drop it in the comments. And if you don't know, then make up a name. Drop a name what you think it's called. Yeah, if you don't know what this is called, this type of fire, because I don't, just drop a comment on what you could, suggestions, or uh, <coughs> if you do know, if you do know what this type of fire is called, then drop it in the comments, please. And we're boiling, so we're good now. I'll get my um, cup prepared for my drink. Gotta have a nice bit of, bit of tea today. It's reduced this tea, so I bought it. Well, that tea smells nice. So there's the old fire, going really well. Nice and warm that. Nice, well you know it's boiled water so easy to do. When you've got that much fuel, very simple. To be honest, there's some thick bits there I could have probably used these pieces over here, these nice thick bits, I could have used as my stand. So you don't have to find that green wood. I know that's not green, but being that thick, I'd imagine being that thick, it ain't gonna burn as quick, is it? But greenwood, as long as you know, you can find the straight greenwood, it works. So thanks for watching and I enjoy my tea. As always, hit the subscribe and the little bell to see my future uploads. I appreciate all my subs, appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Drop a name down for this if you know what it's called. If you don't, give me a name that you think it should be called. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.